All right, so we're solving systems of equations in two variables. All right, so let's see what we got here. We got Paul must purchase two types of fishing hooks. He has only fourteen dollars and seventy-one cents. Hook A costs seventeen cents, and hook B costs fifty cents. He must have a total of thirty-eight hooks. So he must be setting out a trot line or something. How many of each type can he have? All right. Um, maybe this should say how much of each type can he purchase. But anyway, so let's set up the equations. And this is just like the previous problem, except it's a different scenario going on here. All right. And uh, let's see. So hook A. So we're just going to call our variable here A and hook A costs 17 cents now remember I'm gonna go ahead and move the decimal place over two places to the right and hook B costs 50 cents with a total of 1471 All right I'm just moving the decimal place over to the right I'm right, multiplying through by 100 all the way across what I'm doing all right, and so the total number, so the number of the number of hooks of A plus the number of hooks of type B is going to be equal to 38. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just solve for B in this problem here. 38 minus A. Then I'm going to take B and plug it in up here. So we're going to have 17A plus 50 times 38 minus A is equal to 1471. And then we want to solve for A in this equation. And so we're going to have 17A plus, and then we got 50 times 38 is <clears throat> 1900. minus 50a is equal to 1471 okay uh, making sure I got all that right okay and then I'm gonna go ahead let's see we got 17a minus 50a so 17 minus 50 is going to be negative 33 so we got 1900 minus 33a is equal to 1471 and solving for a I'm going to go ahead and take this 1471 over to the left 33a so we have 1900 minus 1471 and that gives us 429 is 33. Um, why did I write an A? The 8. That's interesting. Multiply both sides by 1 over 33. All right, we got to get a 1 over there in front of that A. And so we got 429 divided by 33, and that leaves us with 13. So we're going to be able to buy 13 hooks of type A. So we're going to go over here and find what B is. 38 minus 13. And what is that going to give us? That will give us 25. Right, so B is 25. So B is 25 and A is 13. So I'm going to come back up here. B is 25 and A is 13 hooks. So that's what we can purchase with the money that we have subject to our constraints, which is we can have 38 hooks. Okay. And of course, this comes from my web page 13 of type A and 25 of type B. All right. So that looks like that worked out. So on all these type of problems here, we're setting up two equations and two unknowns. This is pretty much how you're going to do it.